Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. May it end town council met last night. Incumbents were administered the oath of office by Judge Chris Freeman, Mayor Chad Wall, Melanie Barnes, Doug Cardwell, and Buck Shelton. Shelton was named Mayor Pro Tem. It was a short meeting, eight minutes, followed by a brief reception. Town manager Kathleen Patterson is away due to the recent death of her father. Christmas breakfast for town employees is December 22nd. I posted pictures from last night on our Facebook page. Madison Board of Aldermen meets Thursday at 6. Big shakeup at Gildan Activewear. Co-founder and CEO Glenn Charmandy, 59, is out, effective immediately. He and his brother, Greg, created the company 40 years ago. After taking over an apparel company then called Harley, their grandfather founded in 1946. Charmandy owns about 3.4 million shares of stock. Former Fruit of the Loom executive Vince Tyra will become CEO in February. Craig Levitt, a director, will fill the position until then. Charmony's salary is more than $7 million. Gildan's 2023 revenue is projected to be $3 billion. The filing period for the 2024 primary election ends Friday at noon at Rockingham County Board of Elections in Wentworth. No one filed on Monday. The list I had on this newscast yesterday is still current. Six candidates for Board of Commissioners, four Board of Education, and two Register of Deeds. Rockingham County Sheriff Sam Page announced in May he would be a candidate for North Carolina Lieutenant Governor, but still has not officially filed. Page reportedly may decide to challenge Senator Phil Berger instead. In Triad Business News, last night, planning and zoning officials in Mebane recommended denying a proposal for the first Buckies in North Carolina. The company wants to build a 75,000-square-foot store on 32 acres at Interstates 40 and 85, with over 600 parking spaces and up to 150 gas pumps. The city will discuss the proposal again January 8th. Preston Mitchell, assistant city manager in Mebane, was city manager in Reedsville five and a half years. That's the news. Now Rockingham County weather. Sunny, high today, 50, low tonight, 25. Wednesday, 57. Thursday, 47. Friday and Saturday, 55. Sunday, there's a 70% chance of rain in the forecast, high 50. Triad record highs and lows on this day, 77, 2007, 1, 1958. Get current weather information anytime at mikemore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream 24-hour weather camera, powered by heat and air controllers, for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Protect yourself and those around you during flu season. Get your flu vaccine now at Lane's Family Pharmacy. No appointment needed. Walk-ins welcome. Lane's is on NC 14 in Eden. When you're there, pick up a free 2024 calendar. Lane's Family Pharmacy and Home Health Care has been serving Rockingham County residents for over two decades. Prescription delivery countywide. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. College basketball on Monday. South Carolina State beat Jacksonville in overtime, 86-85. to Gardner-Webb beat North Greenville, 79-60. to Tonight, number 21 Duke tangles with Hofstra. Campbell at home against Pfeiffer. The NC State Wolfpack at home against UT Martin. NC State 4-0 at home this season. NC Central visits NC A&T. The Aggies are winless in eight tries this season. NBA Monday, Miami, 116-114 winners at Charlotte. Terry Rozier led the Hornets with 34 points and 13 assists. On the NHL schedule tonight, the Hurricanes visit the Senators. Carolina looking to snap a four-game winless skit. Monday night football, the Titans beat the Dolphins 28-27. It was Tennessee's first win on the road this season. The Giants held on to beat the Packers 24 Lightning fast updates. Download the Score app. It's free in one of North America's most popular sports apps. That's the Sports Flash. Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media.
podcast preview. I'll be talking with the mayor of Madison, William Phillips, this morning around 945. Tomorrow, our monthly podcast with Rockingham County Government. Listen wherever you get podcasts, including iHeartRadio. Oh, it's a busy time of the year. Maybe you need a personal shopper. Blue Octopus Antiques and Artisans can help. When you find something at Blue Octopus you'd like for Christmas, take a picture. Include the shop number if possible. Send it to the person who'll be getting it for you and to Blue Octopus. When they come in, it'll be ready. With more than 100 vendors, there really is something for everyone. Merry Christmas from Blue Octopus Antiques and Artisans on East Meadow Road in Eden. Now, the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks at Eden Venture Business Park, Granite Quartz and Marble for commercial and residential, Toys for Tots at Rocco Art Studio, South Scale Street, Reedsville, Thursday, 6 till 8.30. Sing along with Jeff Webster, bring new unwrapped toys. Uptown Eden Girls' Night Out, Friday, 5 till 8, Gift Basket Giveaway. Beautiful Star and Appalachian Nativity at the Arts Place of Stokes, downtown Danbury, this week. Friday and Saturday at 7, Sunday at 3. Tickets $20, members $15, children under 12 free. Reedsville Parks and Recreation Coat Drive, Saturday, starting at 9 at 201 North Washington Avenue. Donate new and gently used coats. Kids Ornament Workshop at the Madison Mayadan Recreation Center, Business 220 Mayadan, Saturday, 5 till 7. Real Jazz will be playing at Autumn Creek Winery and Vineyards, Means Creek Road, Mayadan, Sunday, 3 to 5. Candlelight service at Leakesville United Methodist Church honoring Phyllis Stickles on Henry Street, Eden, Sunday at 6.30. Phone calls from Santa, December 18th through 20th, sponsored by Eden Parks and Recreation. There's an expanded community calendar at mikemore.media. Click on the Events tab at the top of the page. To list an event free, email it to rockinghamcountync at gmail.com. Here's today's Consumer Report. McDonald's is moving beyond burgers. The company is launching a new chain specializing in beverages and snacks. Cosmics will offer custom coffee drinks and some McDonald's favorites, such as the M&M McFlurry. The new chain will compete with Starbucks and Dunkin'. Target is now offering shoppers an exclusive deal to score an upcoming holiday meal for under $25. Between now and Christmas Day, Target shoppers can build an entire meal, entree, side dishes, and dessert for their family of four for under $25. Chrysler is recalling 142,000 2023 Ram pickup trucks. The company says the steering column control module may cause the high beams to activate when the turn signal is used or activate the turn signal when the high beams are used. What? Also, the company says the blinker might not turn off automatically. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Floyd Missionary Baptist Church in Eden is partnering with parents to educate children on a biblical foundation at Floyd Christian School. Enrollment begins Sunday, January 28th for fall classes in pre-K-4 through 3rd grade. Drop-in registration from 2 to 4, January 28th. Applications also available online. Floyd Christian School, Price Road, Eden. Defending Faith, Education, and Truth. For more information, call this number, 336-623-5854. At 623-5854. Today in history, 1800, Washington, D.C. was established as the capital of the United States. 1957, the first Food Town store opened in Salisbury. The name was later changed to Food Lion. There are now 1,110 stores in 10 states with 82,000 employees. Well, let's see what we're celebrating. Today is National Ambrosia Day. Oh, I love that. It's National 
Gingerbread House Day, and it's National Poinsettia Day. Oh, jackpot. I like all of those. Ambrosia, best, of course. Now, today's fun fact, sponsored by Tri-State Steel in Reedsville, distributing quality metals and exceptional service since 1988. The metal retail store is open for any size metal you need at 2513 Richardson Drive. Hours 7 to 7 weekdays, 7 to 1 Saturday. Today's fun fact, if you see Coca-Cola with a bright yellow cap, here's what it means. It's kosher for the Jewish holiday Passover. Corn, rice, beans, wheat, oats, and barley are forbidden by the Jewish people. Coke replaces the corn syrup with sugar. Bottles have a sunny yellow cap once a year. Now, let's see who's celebrating. On our birthday club for 1212, happy birthday to Betty Peebles in Eden. She's 60. Earl Settle, Linda Walker, and Jimmy Walser, one of my very best friends from high school. I'll be calling Walser later today. Happy birthday to all of you, Linda Walker, Earl Settle, Betty Peebles, And Jimmy Walter. I'm sorry he is not eligible for the giveaway. Let me know who's celebrating birthdays for the 13th through 31st, the rest of the month, and all of January. You can text birthdays to me anytime at 336 932 1881. Get in on the birthday club and our giveaway at the end of the week from 10. Eden Businesses, a really nice price package. 932-1881 for the birthday club. Some big name birthdays today. Dion Warwick, 83. Connie Francis, 85. Hank Williams III, 51. Kathy Rigby, 71. Now, today's Christmas Music Spotlight. Thanks to Encora Compassionate Care, formerly Hospice of Rockingham County. Lot 2540, David Price Auto Works, Robbie's Jewelry Shop, Wilkerson Funeral Home. Merry Christmas.
Glenn Campbell. Now, today's motivational moment. Thanks to Livingstone Wealth Management, Raymond James in Madison. Healing isn't about changing who you are. Healing is about changing how you feel about who you are. Thank you, friends, for listening. I appreciate that, and I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Be sure to count your blessings today.